Welcome to the video. This is Marvin from Novapool. And in this video, I will show you how to install and set up a Typhon Lite wallet. We are currently on the official homepage of Typhon Wallet in order to install the browser extension. Please make sure you are on the right page. You can find the link to the page in the video description. Typhon offers different wallet types, the website-based version and the browser extension. I will choose the browser extension in this video to be able to interact with the so-called dApps later. Once you click the button, the Chrome Web Store will open with the official Typhon Wallet extension in a new tab. I will use the current version 2.4.6, which was last updated on October 19th, 2022. Clicking Add to Brave and then confirming in the pop-up window will install Typhon Wallet in your browser. And now we are in the browser extension. The first thing you can do here is to set the language. At the moment, you have five to choose from. Now you can decide what to do next. Create a new wallet, restore an existing wallet from a passphrase, or connect your hardware wallet to Typhon. I'm creating a new wallet. At this point, you need to give your wallet a name. I will name it My Wallet and set up a secure spending password right after. You require this to log into your wallet and to confirm transactions. Now confirm the terms and conditions and continue. Now here comes the most important step. You need to decide how long you want your passphrase to be. It can consist of 12, 15, or 24 words. With the passphrase, you can restore your wallet at any time and have your coins and tokens at your disposal in case your computer breaks or you can't access it anymore. With the arrow button, you can generate any passphrase. Please keep in mind that anyone who knows this passphrase will have access to your wallet, so keep it safe and secret, and do not store it online in the cloud or on your computer. Make sure you have written down all of the words in the correct order without any mistakes, and only then continue. Now you have to verify your passphrase. This is how Typhon determines whether you have written everything down correctly. Add the missing words in the empty boxes and confirm it by clicking the Verify and Unlock button. The last step is to select the type of the wallet. I choose the standard method and click on the second option, HD Wallet. With that, you've created your Cardano wallet with Typhon. In the sidebar on the left, you can see which section of the wallet you are in. There, you can also change further settings. First things first, I'm going to switch to dark mode. This is how I keep my eyes healthy. Unlike the other wallets, Typhon Wallet has limited itself to the most necessary settings, which makes the wallet very simple and clear. Here, you can set up your collateral, which is essential for interacting with smart contracts, changing the wallet language, or importing and exporting the wallet settings. On the home page, you can perform transactions, see your account balance, and the wallet delegation. Furthermore, the history of your transactions is displayed here. Since this is a new wallet, there are none to be seen here yet. Left on the sidebar, you have the staking section. There you have the ability to delegate to a staking pool, and thus not only contribute to network decentralization, but also benefit from the staking rewards. To delegate, you must have at least 5 ADA in your wallet. You can learn how to delegate your wallet in an extra video in this playlist. There is also an Assets section, where you can view and manage all of your NFTs and tokens. At the moment, there are none to be seen here. In the Address section, you have an overview of all addresses in your wallet. At the beginning of the video, we decided to use the standard wallet. Therefore, many addresses are displayed here. With these addresses, you can receive your coins and tokens. Click on More on the right to get additional information about the respective address. In the Voting section, 
Typhon offers you the ability to vote on the community funds in the regular Cardano Catalyst votes. To do this, you need at least 500 ADA in your wallet. Just follow the wallet instructions if you want to register for Catalyst. In the Contact section, you can create a list of your most important contacts and save it. And that's it for the first video of our Typhon Lite Wallet series. If you don't want to miss any of our new videos in the future, subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate that bell icon. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next epoch. If this video has added value to you and you would like to stake too, feel free to come on board. Follow us on Twitter for the latest news about Cardano and our pool. If you have any questions, feel free to check out our multi-language telegram group. See you in the next epoch.